Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX calculator to solve the complex number. But before I go into the technical part, I want to do a brief introduction about this complex number first. Okay, when will we use the complex number? Okay, when, most of the time when we have the unsolvable equation, then we will use a complex number. Definitely, if the questions is come from this topic, definitely you will use a complex number method as well. So I give you a very brief example. Let's say today I have uh, square root negative 100. Then the calculator will tell you it's a math error. But if you go into the menu, you go into the AC, you then go into the menu here, you choose the complex number, which is number two. I choose complex number. If I type the same thing here, square root negative 100, I will not get math error, I will get 10i. All right, this is the reason why complex number is uh, very important here. So complex number, uh, normally we use z to represent it. Uh, this is the pattern of complex number, uh, which is something like x plus i, y. All right, so here, this x will be the real number. Uh, normally we call it as the real part. And then the y here, together with the i1 is the imaginary part. Imaginary part. Okay, or we call it imaginary number. All right, so therefore, uh, over here, before I go into like how to get a 10i, you need to understand a little bit things like this. Like i power one, we just call it as i. But when i power of two here, we will get negative one. All right, when i power of three, which is uh, i square multiply with i, isn't it? i square is negative 1, multiply i will get negative i. And then i power 4, you will get about uh, i cubed multiply i, but I prefer about i square multiply i square, which is negative 1, multiply negative 1, which is positive 1. Alright, so here, at least we will get some uh, idea about i from power 1 to 4, this is negative i, isn't it? So I will just group them together, so i power 4 will give us uh, one here. So how about i power of five? So i power of five, you will go back to the i power of one, which is i, and then i power of six, you will go back to the i power of two, which is negative one, and so on. If you not believe me, you can just uh, type the i in this calculator. You should be able to see a purple color i over here. And then you just type i power of six here. The calculator should tell you it's negative one. If you you want to change this one to i power of 5, you will get about i. So you want to change this one to i power of um, example 4 here, you will get 1. Okay, however, when i have the power which is negative, example, i power of negative 3. Okay, see what we will get here is, if you type into the calculator, i power of negative 3, example, the calculator will tell you it's an i as well. But if you do yourself, how do you get i here? You learn about indices, right? You know negative basically means 1 over, right? This one is 1 over i power of 3. Okay, so from here, you need to understand for complex number, right? They will never allow the denominator have the i over there. So denominator must always don't have the i at the denominator. So must always be the real number. So what we want to do here is, if we sub in the i power of 3 negative i into the denominator, it doesn't help because your denominator still have the i there. So in order to make the denominator don't have i, uh, don't have i there, so I will multiply i for numerator and denominator. Why I want to do that? Because i power of 3 times i will give me i power of 4, right? i power of 4, which is 1. Then I get 1. 1 multiply i is i, so this is the reason why the calculator say it's i here. So same idea if today I have about um, i power of example negative 5. They tell me it's a negative i, so you just imagine if i power of negative 5 will get 1 over i power of 5 here. So the e easiest way what I will do is I multiply i here, I multiply i here, because i power of 5 here is still get i here, right? so I will not straight away sub in here. So i power of 6 will give me negative 1. So this is negative 1. Top 1 multiply i is i. So i divided by negative 1 we call negative i. All right, this is what happened when i have the power is negative. Okay, let's go back to the question just now. Square root negative 100. Like what we understand is negative 1 basically means i square, right? So I can say this is 100 multiply negative 1. 
So this is square root of 100 multiply negative 1 is i square, i square. All right, then I will square root 100 at the same time I square root i square. All right, square root 100 will give me 10, square root i square will give me i. This is the reason why I will get 10i. If I square root negative 100, I will get about 10i here. Okay, in order to make you understand further, I prepare some example here. Okay, if the question asks you to expand about this bracket, right? Actually, you can straight away get the answer from the calculator, but I will teach you a manual way first. So the first idea is I will use 2 to multiply uh, both here, and then I will use i to multiply both. All right, so that 2 multiply 3 will give 6. 2 multiply negative i is negative 2i. All right, and then i multiply 3 will give me positive 3i, and then i multiply negative i will give me minus i square. All right, minus i square, i square is negative 1, isn't it? Negative 1 multiplied negative will give us positive 1, so 6 plus 1 will give us 7. So this one, negative 2 plus 3 will give me positive i. So in this calculator, right, the good thing is you can straight away key in the exactly the same thing here. So the calculator should be able to straight away get you the answer, which is, you can see, 7 plus i. So the calculator will straight away tell me the 7 plus i. All right, but for this kind of question, right, okay, because like what I say, the denominator cannot have the i over there, so you need to find a way to get rid of the i. So you, okay, in the exam, you might not know what to multiply. So what I can tell you is you need to multiply the conjugates of the denominator. Okay, just in case you have no idea about what is conjugates, the good thing about this calculator is it actually have the conjugate for you, which is number two. All right, then you just in insert uh, four minus three i, then you can find a conjugate version of it, which is four plus three i. So you know you need to multiply four plus three i for numerator and denominator. Okay, but why you need to multiply four plus three i, uh, not other number like i, like two i, like four i, like three i? Okay, because uh, this method we call rationalize. Okay, the purpose of rationalize is when you do a plus b, multiply with a minus b, you will get a square minus b square, right? This is what the process we call rationalize. Okay, when we do like this, right, we will square both of the term. That's mean in this case, we will square the term with 4, which will give us 16. And then we will square about negative 3i. Because i we square, we will get i square, which will change to the negative 1. So eventually, the denominator will no longer have the i over there. All right, so, okay, let's do it. So what we want, want to do over here is like, okay, so a minus b multiply a plus, plus b, we will get a square minus b square. Right? So I can straight away square about 4, 16. And then I will minus, I will square about this one. 3 square will give me 9. i square will give me i square. Okay. So, and then for numerator, I will do the same thing here. Like 3 multiply 4, which is 12. 3 multiply 3i, which is 9i. And then i multiply 4, which is 4i. And then i multiply 3i, which is 3i square. Okay, like what we understand, i square equals to negative 1, isn't it? So therefore, this one will become plus 9, isn't it? So bottom is 25. So for top here, this is like 12 minus 3, right? Because this is 3, this is negative 1, so minus 3 will give us 9. Okay, I solve already. Then these two plus together will give us 13i. So, so I've solved it. Normally, we will just separate them into the real part and imaginary part. So this is 9 over 25 plus 13 over 25i. Okay, so the good thing about this calculator, like what I say is like you can straight away insert the whole thing here. It should be able to tell you the answer directly. So yeah, I just insert exactly the same thing. Then the calculator will tell me my final answer here, which is exactly the same here. Okay, but then of course in the exam, you kind of need to show the working as well in order to get full mark. Okay, last before I end this video, yeah, I want to show you about this example. Okay, because we want to solve this one, right? Um, if we, we will use a quadratic formula, which is negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, but if you learn uh, the MF before, what we will do is whenever we solve the quadratic, we will always test about b square minus 4ac, right? 
So B here is 2. 2 squared minus 4. A is 1. C is 3. So this one will give us like 4 minus 12, which is negative 8, which is less than 0. So normally when we have the question less than 0, we will say uh, unsolvable, right? So or, or sometimes we will say uh, undefined. Okay, but this kind of case will no longer happen in uh, complex number because like what I say at the very beginning, the purpose of complex number is to help you to solve this kind of unsolvable questions. Okay, so let's try, try it out. Okay, b is 2, isn't it? So it'll be negative 2 plus minus square root about uh, square root b square, which is 2 square, 4 minus 4ac. Actually, we did already. La. The whole thing, 4ac is 4, 1, and 3. 4 multiplied 1 multiplied 3 is minus 12. All right, then we will get negative 8 because we test just now. So this one will give us negative 8. So let me write down negative 8 divided by 2a. a is 1. All right, so in order to solve this one, so what we want to do here is, like what I say is, uh, whenever we have the negative 8, we will just separate them into 8 multiply negative 1, which is 8i squared, isn't it? Okay, so we'll have something like square root 8i squared, negative 1 is i squared. So square root about 8i squared. Okay, what is square root 8 first? Okay, square root 8 will give us about uh, 2 times 4, isn't it? So this one is square root 2, square root 4, so it's 2 square root 2, or we call 2 third 2, okay, divided by 2. Okay, what, why I want to do that? Because I want to change it into this pattern. Okay, so the i square, we square root i square, we still have an i inside, isn't it? So it should be 2 square root 2, the i will be like this, because the i will no longer have square root divided by 2, and then we will factorize out the 2 on the top, so, and then we simplify with a 2 at the denominator. So, we should get negative 1 uh, plus minus square root 2i. So, we have two answers here. One of the answer is negative 1 plus sub 2i. Another answer is negative 1 minus sub 2i. Okay, but the good thing about the casual calculator, right, even though this is sort of unsolvable, but then if you go into the equation, you go into the polynomial, power 2, you insert the, exactly the same equation, x squared is 1, b is 2, this is 3. Yeah, the calculator actually will still tell you the correct answer, but then you will see there's an i on the top. This is the way the calculator indicate, uh, indicates to you that this is the complex number, because you can see you have the real part and imaginary part. So the first answer is negative 1 plus sub 2i. And then the second answer is negative 1 minus sub 2i. It's exactly the same with the answer we get here. All right, so I will make another video about complex number, but which is I will focus more on the polar coordinate form. All right, I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here. You just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit. So after that, you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. If you have any question, 
feel free to post at the comment section below or else I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.